Hey, what's up guys? Jose here at ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm reviewing the HDG Performance ISO Tib. You've probably seen a tip bar before. It looks like this. And this is very popular to work out your tibialis anterior muscles so that you can strengthen your ankles, prevent shin splints, and also to prevent knee injuries. Very popular with the Knees Over Toes Guys programming. Now, HGG Performance now created the ISO tip, which is a more specific or isolating device for not only your ankles, but also your lower limb as well. Now, the main benefit of this is that you can move through many, many multiple ranges of motions that you can't do with a tip bar. With a tip bar, you're stuck with, with a sagittal plane or range of motion. You're going forward and backward, plantar flexion, dorsiflexion, pointing your toes down, pointing your toes up. That's all you can really do. Of course, you can do other exercises like leg extensions, leg curls, but it's still in the same plane of motion. Now, the isotip allows you to move through a greater range of motion, specifically for the ankle, where you now have the ability to just do more than just go plantar flexion and dorsiflexion. You can go in, you can go out, you can go in circles. So you get a complete rehab and strengthening of your ankles. And of course, you can also do other exercises as well. Just like with the tip bar, you can do leg curls, leg extensions, hip flexors. You can work out your hip flexors. You can even do kickbacks with the, with the ISO tip. Now I'm gonna show you real up close here what it looks like. So this is what one side looks like. You have a seven inch, chrome sleeve here is going to fit two inch plates, Olympic plates. You have a clamp here, just a regular clamp. And then on one side here, you have the HGG branding. You see that it says ISO tip right there. And then you have a knob over here. The knob is there because this is adjustable. It allows you to adjust the different size feet so that it fits everybody. If I turn it around here, you can see there's foam here. This foam is going to go on the top of your foot. Your foot will slide in here and then the foam is gonna sit right on top of your foot so when you have weight on the sleeve, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Now, if we look at the other side, there's no knob on that side, but there is a gap here. You see, I can stick my finger in, and the reason there's a gap there is because this will adjust. So this piece of the, of the, of the machine here, of the device, will adjust outward and inward so that you can fit different size shoes and also so that you can get a snug fit once you put this on with weight on, on your foot. So let me show you that mechanism right now. So we have this knob here. If I start turning it, I'm going to show you here from real close. You'll see this, this side here will start moving outward. So I'm going to start turning it. And yes, you can see it's starting to go outward. And you can see there's a gap here in the foam. Okay. Now if I go the opposite way, you'll start to see it come towards the middle. It comes back towards the middle. So this allows you to just size it up to your shoe, regardless of the person. Anybody can use this. And that's all there's to it. The construction is very solid, very solid metal. Then you have this. Of course, you have the regular clamp. And this is actually detachable, so I can twist this, which makes it very portable, very easy to carry around. There it is, so it's detachable. That's what it looks like. And to put it back, you simply just turn it clockwise, turn it the other direction, and it'll go ahead and go in there. So that's a closer look at the ISO tip. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up the ISO tip. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna load it with weight. I have a five pound plate, goes on the sleeve, and then we clamp it up. Now it's all set up. All I have to do is turn it to the side here, and now you see the foam here is right on top. You have the knob here that's adjustable and then my foot is going to slide right in there. So I'm going to slide my foot in there. I'm going to make it so that my foot is touching the back here, the back plate. And now what I have to do is just turn the knob so that it brings both of these sides closer to towards the middle so that my foot is snug inside the device here. So I'm going to keep turning, turning, turning until it feels very snug and then that way Nothing is falling out of my foot. Everything stays in place. Okay, so right now I'm about the point where it feels pretty good there, feels pretty snug. And now I can move in different directions. I can go down, I can go up, I can go in, I can go out, or I can do circles with this without this falling off my foot. I'm just gonna show you a bunch of different exercises you can do with the ISO tip.
Let's talk about the pros and cons of the ISO tip. Pro number one is that you can train each leg individually. For me, that's a plus because now my weak side is not gonna be assisted by my stronger side. If we look at an example with the tip bar, the tip bar, you insert both feet at the same time into the tip bar, and now you're moving it up and down, but the weak side can be assisted by the stronger side. But when you use the ISO tip, you don't have that. So each leg is forced to work at their maximum capacity because there's no assistance by the stronger side. So for me, that's a plus. Pro number two is that this is very portable. I can take the sleeve off, put it in a bag, and they, it actually comes in a bag, in a travel bag, and then you can take it with you anywhere. Pro number three is that this is adjustable. As I showed you earlier, you can turn the knob, this will adjust in width, and now anybody, regardless of the size of the foot they have, can work out with the ISO tip. And pro number four is that this is very comfortable. You have the padding here on top that's very thick, so that when you stick your foot in there and you have weight on this, it doesn't feel like it's putting pressure on the top of the foot. Pro number five is that this is built solidly. I don't have any complaints as far as the build. It's, it's a beautiful build, beautiful design. HGG Performance did a great job on this. Now let's talk about the cons. The only con that I see with this is that it takes a little bit longer to train. Now let's compare that to the tip bar. When you, when you work with a tip bar, you insert both feet and you can start working automatically go up and down plantar flexion dorsiflexion with the isotip it takes a little bit longer just because you're working each each leg each side individually and then unless you have two of these you're going to have to change it from one foot to the other so that's going to take a little bit more time but you know you're targeting the muscles of the ankle and the lower limb more specifically with this so i would say it's worth spending a little bit more time on each side that's my review on the HGG Performance ISO tip. I think it's a great piece of equipment, solidly built. And if you're somebody who's looking to strengthen your ankles, prevent shin splints, prevent knee pain, or following the knees over toes programming, then this is definitely a piece of equipment that I would recommend. I actually like this better now than the tip bar because it's much harder. It really, really isolates your ankles so you can move in all planes of motions and hit every single muscle you can think of down there. If you want to learn more about it, I'll leave a link below this video. That link is shredderdad.com forward slash HGG isotip. And I also have a coupon code that can give you a 10% off the isotip. That coupon code is shredded. In the meantime, if you like the information in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest uploads. For more home gym equipment reviews and discounts, make sure you visit my website, shredderdad.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.